here at the University of Michigan on the electric boat team, we're designing the next generation of the naval industry. The University of Michigan electric boat team is a student-led group that designs, builds, and races a boat to compete on the national stage. So as a team, we are um, committed to innovation. What we want to do is we want to do something new, and we want to do things that can really help propel the industry forward. So this year, we've got a 17-foot hydrofoiling catamaran. Originally, it was a sailboat, but we've converted it to an electric powertrain, which has been a pretty big challenge for us, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. The marine industry currently accounts for about 6% of global CO2 emissions. So as an electric boat team, we are looking to uh, decarbonize the marine industry. So pursuing efficiency uh, and making a, a, a boat that can help the world get closer to uh, zero carbon. So our hydrofoils are underwater wings. So they allow us to lift up um, on top of the water and glide across the water really efficiently. Uh, obviously electric boats are super good to help us be more sustainable, but they've also got some practical uses as well. It helps decrease the maintenance costs. Uh, it makes the use of maybe recreational boats a lot easier. Like in water skiing, you don't have to deal with all the fumes. And these hydrofoils that we're working on are really starting to become more popular in industry because of that efficiency gain. So right now we're relying on Cadence to help investigate our current design and figure out areas that we can improve. And as we move on to the next generation design, I know Cadence has some robust workflows to look into creating our own hull and possibly narrow down on the design that we want. The on-cloud suite, and especially the computational fluid dynamic software, allows us to understand and to begin characterizing flow around our boat in a very quantitative manner. And it's a challenge because it's constantly uh, balancing different design constraints, um, or we want them to be as hydrodynamic as possible, but we also need them to be structurally sound. And so it's balancing those two things. And so OnCloud really allows us to understand the, the hydrodynamics of it. We're hoping that the flexibility that Cadence gives us by being a cloud-based computational fluid dynamic software will allow us to really explore different designs um, and be a little radical with our early thinking. And hopefully that will get us to a better, more efficient, faster, and more competitive design.